past oh, seven, eight years here, I've had, I've been working with an, a, an actual agronomist as far as making a, a better quality product. And uh, so we, we've trialed, we've trialed multiple different uh, biologicals over the years here. And uh, like I said in the previous episodes, but I, we, end, we always end up here back at the biopass seeing the, seeing the best results. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Frontier Fields North. Keith Tebow, Tebow Farms. You guys stopped by at the right time here to catch a potato harvest. Been harvesting away, really. I had to finish out the season, you know, so I had to spray some more uh, micronutrients and getting the equipment ready. I mean, it's, it all it all comes quick. Summer summer comes and goes, and, and here we are with the, fi with the final product. Welcome back to Frontier Fields North. This is Kristen Eyes from Birdcap Farms from Tupperville, Ontario, and today we're gonna to harvest our BioPath trial. Since the last time you were out, late July, we've been harvesting our variable vegetable crops, and now we're left with only to harvest our corn. For the corn crop, it looks like we got about another two weeks of harvest left to go, and then some final ground tillage to close out the season. The part I like the best about harvest season is seeing the results of your hard work all season. You can see what items worked for you and what items didn't work for you off the yield data. With our biopath, and the main objective, you know, was see how it really worked. We've seen great results, you know, see more tubers per hill, uh, a lot more root mass underneath, and the the extra root mass helps really help throughout our uh, our two week two week dry period or drought that we had up up here in northern Maine here this summer. There's a lot of a lot of nutrients locked up in our soil that's not really available. It's there; it'll be on soil samples, but it's not available. So, uh, with the biopath, there it helps uh, helps mine. I was mine more nutrients for our potato, building a hardier, a hardier product, which is the uh, the main goal. More yield per acre. All right, we're here in our biopath trial field. We're just get breaking into the biopath section. We have strips up and down the field, 16 rows with biopath, 16 rows without biopath. We got the combine lined up with the planter pass to make sure that every pass is full eight rows of with or without biopath. So our trial data will be very clear and defined between with and without biopath. Being part of the Total Acre Group, we got a lot of presentations on biologicals and understanding what their, the tie is between the biologicals and then manufactured fertilizers and the benefits. So we wanted to start trialing biopath on our, or trialing biologicals in general on our properties. So we don't have a clear goal for the biopath, just to help us improve on our current yield and keep pushing to hit that 300 bushel target. From what I've been seeing or projecting here, it'll be a little bit above average yields. I'd like to see at least 400 uh, hundredweight per acre. So that would equate to 40,000 pounds of potatoes per acre, which is which is great. Uh, more than pays the pays the bills. There is one thing that really stands out. One of our our round white variety Juanita that that we've seen in the, the last episode. It sets high in the row, so when they set high in the row, they uh, they're susceptible to sunburn. That's where the that's where the sun turns them green. With the biopath driving the roots down deeper, the uh, the tubers set deeper, so they're uh, they're better protected inside the row. Saved a lot on shrink in the uh, in the packing in the packing facility. The tuber sets all tend to come off of both the same there now. The uh, more uniform profile. The uniformity is what really uh, really helps pay. You have more that go into your uh, your premium packs. They go to the the five ten pound bags that go to the grocery stores. The biggest takeaway is just the yield as a whole and the quality. Being able to build that better that better uh, potato at the end of the day, it really it really helps you utilize every every inch of the uh, the whole organization. For the trial results, we're always looking to be some positive impact to our operation. At this point, the amount of harvest we've done for the year, I think we're going to be a little bit above our farm average. Then we're going to be back looking at seeing what the trial area results were for all the different trials we've been doing this year, how it compared to the farm average and then the overall average of the going season. It's interesting to understand that interaction between the plant's root system and the biologicals that are in the soil and how they kind of work together and their interactions feed off each other to supply the nutrients that the plant requires to grow. I think in the future, the biologicals and regular fertilizers are gonna be working together to give you a better solution than just using off-the-shelf fertilizers. Favorite 
thing about vile paths is more tubers per acre. The denser roots, the deeper roots, helps prevent the sunburn, putting the tubers down deeper in the row. Great results. The yields were uh, reflected what we uh, did with the, with the vile path. Worked out great. To anybody that hasn't trialed biologicals yet, I mean, just be open-minded and enroll with it. You'll, you'll see the results. Proof's in the pudding. It works. I think this year we overall had a great harvest and great growing season here in southwestern Ontario. During the course of the trial this year, just learning more about biologicals, having the discussions with Amanda of what's going on with the product and how the product benefits the overall operation. Planning from here, we're going to review the overall results of all our trials this year. For next year's trial, we'll continue based on the results from this year doing the side by side trial with our current practices, the grower standard, and then the biopath trial. All right, I'd like to thank the viewers for watching the episode throughout the season, watching the overall results of the biopath trial. I'd like to thank Mosaic for letting me be part of Frontier Fields. It just gives us another different insight to the farming operation. As we wrap up our uh final episode of uh, Frontier Fields. I, in the meantime, also wrapping up my final day of potato harvest, but appreciate you guys following along. Appreciate all mosaics done and uh, continue to do for us, for us farmers. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back in the future with more trial results. Make sure to like and subscribe to Crop Nutrition on YouTube. Until next time, take care. Matt Souter here, Director of Field Solutions for Mosaic. Every operation is different from soil types and weather patterns to the way your trials are set up. Each of these can impact your results. That's why at Mosaic, we invest heavily in testing across multiple fields and operations and environments. We study diverse soil profiles, shifting weather conditions, and real-world variables to fully understand how crop nutrition can be improved in every scenario. The reality is simple. The better we understand performance across diverse situations, the more precisely we can help you maximize return on fertilizer investment on your farm. For deeper context and real-world insights, join us for our roundtable discussion and our season finale. In the meantime, head to trueresponseworks.com to explore trial results near you.